You need, we need to give antibiotics. You need to give antibiotics. Yeah. Give me the... Uh, so, so again, the, the level of sound is good. Even when I speak softly, it's fine? Okay. And you could, could you adjust it? Is there something you could adjust with the level of sound on your side? I don't know. I cannot do it. Because this is directly connected to this box. I, I cannot know. play around with the music then. I can just select whether the music should be there. Alright. Can I have the uh, table down a bit? Uh, I down maximum, but low. Not that much. لا 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 ما تسوي شيء ما تسوي شيء ما تسوي شيء رجع لهم رجع لي فيرست وان دوم بيك رجع لي فيرست وان دوم بيك ما ما باي رجع لي فيرست وان دوم بيك اي فيرست وان دوم بيك اوكي ستوب شكرا جيفن ذا سيزونز Injection. Injection. Yeah, I'm gonna need the irrigation in just a second. Get back of the microscope. Yeah. 
injection and scope. Scope. Light source, please. Scope. Uh, so you could switch to the uh, switch to the endoscope. No, because I connected to Ustream and YouTube. When I'm connecting both of them, I cannot do the switch. Do just uh, so you. You want me to do only YouTube? Yeah, uh, if it's yeah, you do only YouTube. Room lights. Injection. Yeah, I need another one. Yeah, yeah. Why can't Why can't you get up to them? I know, but I mean. So we're looking Then this is short. Give me long. So this is a uh, this is a patient who has a uh, an anterior perforation and uh, almost a subtotal perforation. Quite a uh, this is the right side of course. And I'm just injecting the, uh, the ear canal. Um, so what I try to do during the injection is to make sure that all the vessels have blanched out. So I'm looking at the vessels in the gutter and I'm waiting for them to blanch out before I would call the injection off. Just applying continuous pressure and again observing right almost at the center of the field the blood vessels in the gutter uh, of the eardrum and waiting for them to blanch out. Now you can see the vessels have all blanched out, so I know I've done my jaw. Should not be really seeing any blood vessels. So take the microscope please, push the microscope in. So I want to take out the graft from the tragus area and I want to um, to place the, uh, the stitch, the Torvishi stitch. So uh, I, this is probably basically the only part that I do with the microscope. And uh, I just find it a lot easier. See, I injected here a lot of stuff. Give me a sponge, please. Like so, uh, I think by mistake, this is, uh, I didn't mean to have all that infiltration anteriorly, but anyway. Am I at the center of the field, Mustafa? Am I at the yeah, center yeah. of the field? And... One second. So tell me when I'm focused. Am I focused? Uh, okay, yeah. Am I, are you sure? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Where is he? I need to get a uh, turn on the light. Let me see here. Let me see the uh, lights, please. Room lights. Fast, please. Mm. 
off. Am, am I I'm focused, are you? Yeah, you're focused. Alright. Give me the knife for one second. This patient must have had a previous surgery here. The tissues look very weird. Give me a take this scan heart. Add some combo. Am I in the center of the field? And everything is forecast? Yeah. Uh, had previous surgery, Mustafa? Yeah. Did the guy have previous surgery? Check it for with no, previous No, no, I'm just surgery. asking. Yes, ask for Mustafa if Must the patient has previous surgery. Pull more. Did you hear us, Mustafa? That's what I'm saying. Do you have, does the patient have a previous no. surgery? I always, when I do my uh, grafting, the more important thing is laterally here and most, most important superiority to get a good graft because the depth is limited by a small blood vessels. Uh, uh, so you can't really go too much deep in here because of the blood vessels uh, that basically button the... Uh, Okay. What am I? Are you too low or too high? It, it's too low. Okay. So, uh, could you pull more? Okay, fine. So, you, again, the idea is that you want this is the, the, the vessel, the button that button the uh, pericondrium here. So, a lot of times you cannot, you cannot go deeper. We'll see that in just a second. So, but so you go lateral, or you go to the sides, and most importantly, again, superiorly here. So we get most of the graft. Take this. Give me the knife, please. Knife back. Yeah, yeah, knife. Feel the edge, and the edge is here, so we could go up. A bit more, gain more, and you make a cut to the cartilage. And then to elevate at some. Yes. And with everything in place, take out the uh, pericondrium. Use a dull. Yes. Use a dull. Uh, round knife. Round knife. And. Section. So you could you could see the bottoming the 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 blood vessels they basically creating a button in the uh, so limiting the depth of uh, you could see it right here you see it Mustafa yeah. so that's why you have to go laterally rather than depth so this blood vessel here which creates a, a button like so it limits how far you could go but here you can see that superiorly you could go quite a bit give me a scissors please yeah. okay. so again cut as hard as far as you can here cut that area of the button and superior is where you get most of your 
most of your graft. Okay, give me the uh, tongue depressor. We'll see how big a piece we've got. I think it's reasonable. I think it'll be fine. So you could see, compared to the Tegas, we did. I think we did well. Give me the. Uh, also, want to take a piece of uh, composite cartilage. Give me a knife. leave again a rim of tissue so as not to distort the ear the scissors so uh, mm -hmm. not so clearly give me an uh, tip with a skin hook a skin hook and we cut clearly, bisect, and take out the thing. Put it in saline. Can I have the skin hook? Put the skin hook on, please. All right. So, um, let's see the field. The idea here is that you need to make it dry. The most irritating thing that you could do in this area is a hematoma. At the same time, when you cartilize, do not cartilize the cartilage because if you cartilize the cartilage, you do, you do get a bit of chondritis and it could be also very frustrating for you and for the patient. So stay away from the cartilage. Even if you want to cartilize, you want to just lightly uh, that's it, but don't burn the cartilage because you will get all right stitch find most patients care a lot more about this cut than any of the stuff that we do inside so i do a uh sort of particular and this really doesn't show The deep of the mosquito at the end. So again, subcuticular stitch. I find this a lot easier to do with the microscope mainly for age reason this time as you mature as a surgeon your eyes also matures and you end up with a bit of uh, difficulty seeing things so uh, finishing up my subcuticular stitch Of course, you don't want to lock it. Makes it hard to remove. So, um, here we go. We just finish up our subcuticular stitching. Takes this please. If 
Cut space. Take the needle. Yeah, we can. Give me the other side. Release it. Yeah, thank you. I need the uh, the tension stitch later. Huh? Yeah. both please. So I always talk about al aligning the uh, cartilaginous with the bony. So of course we do that in the clinic all the time by pulling the ear back and up. Um, so what I want to do is place what I jokingly call around the little Vichy stitch and basically what I want to do again is I want to have something to pull the ear back and up like this. So give me the. Uh, yeah. So you see that uh, this is what I want to do. So I put it just beyond that anterior cartilaginous kink, and you gotta do it in steps. It doesn't work if you're doing it in one. see the idea basically cut take give me the so the idea is to pull back tuck it with a mosquito or a, or a needle holder I find it this is needle holder yes okay and now I want to also cut the hair because the hair could drive you crazy. Give me a section. Give me the scissors for the hair. So again, these hairs, if you don't cut them, what happens is that every time you go in, every time you go out, you end up you end up smudging the scope. So that's why we're doing it. Give me a section, section. You can see, mm. just cutting the hair, cutting the hair, cutting the hair. And this is really a kind of important. So, uh, moving back to the endoscope, nice give me irrigation, you. please. Irrigation. Take this. There's a lot of irrigation throughout the surgery. You can see again my point when you go how the uh, how the straighten align the uh, the bony ear canal with the cartilaginous uh, ear canal. So we have to the ear. I also usually uh, make the picture as magnified as possible. Give me a give me the smaller scope. This is the smaller scope. So I'm planning on doing a lateral graft uh, tympanoplasty. You can see I have a healthy mucosa and I have a very little rim. Give me an around my 
So the first thing is that I want to outline the vascular strip. So this is the annulus, level of the annulus. I go above it a bit and I make my cut. So and then again I go up in the ear canal. Because I want to remove the skin of the ear canal. Again, I continue my cut and rotate. And finish up. Give me the angle one now. You don't want to give me, give me the angle one. Actually, let me see. Always start inferiorly. I found that a lot useful. And do as much as you can without the most important, the most the difficult area is superiorly to make the cut, but anyway. So, um, elevating the skin, making it fold, and then put the pletchet in if I can. Sometimes you have to put the pletchet earlier, but elevating as much as I can. Give me a pletchet, please. All right. Why am I? Anyway, good. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to do this one. Yeah, I think I want to do this one. So, let's just fairly get a wet sponge for me on the on the field. All of a sudden, I mean, the picture is... Give me the round knife, please. So, um, just trying to elevate superiorly, finishing up the cuts. I explained, it's probably the most difficult part. Once the, when you're cutting, you push forward a bit to space it, because if you don't push forward, a bit of tearing of tissue, something that you've got to do. Give me a fletchet again. As you could see, I leave a lot of fletchets, uh, basically to tamponade, tamponade the bleeding. And see it it's elevated to bone, bone, and I use the suction with the pledget as instrument. And get here. Uh, still a piece of Okay, so I think we elevated it superiorly, that's good. The angled suction. I use now quite often the Panetti instrument set to do my dissection test. Combine suction with elevated and an angle way and it's very really very nice, very effective. And the trick here is that you gotta you should not be elevating the uh,
around my place. Let's angle. No, no, but like a little. I could see. This is a section. I'm elevating the uh, the skin further. Oh. Again, we gotta leave the uh, see. Uh, so we, I see the annulus. I cannot lift the annulus. I have to keep the annulus down. So this is the annulus, and I have to lift, keep the annulus, push it down. And lift the uh, the skin off the annulus, as you could see here. Hmm. So you can see I'm elevating. Give me the other one. Give me a, uh, one second, I guess. Yeah, uh, give me a pledge it. You need to change? Uh, let me see, one second. Give me a section. Uh, uh, it's right side. Again, a lot of times you gotta use the, uh, the pledge it. Again, elevating the See, elevating the skin, you can see that I'm elevating the skin off the... An alligator feeds. So you can see that the suction instrument is very, very helpful. skin entirely. It's important not to leave any skin. You don't want to create like a small pearl of a cholesterolma. Alligator. 
Give me a uh, house. So I want to finish up our dissection in this area here. Give me a uh, suck shark. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, the instruments. Give me the other side, the other way. Out forces. Sometimes I use a spooning technique to elevate. So we've elevated the skin and we take it out. Give me a Give me a regular section. And give me a cure. Yes. Give me a cure. So we're trying to smoothen up the ear uh, canal. Any overhanging bone. Irrigation, irrigation. Take it. Clean, 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 clean. I've already measured the opening pressure of the patients. I know they are stationed to you. What is it, 40? So give me more budget. Not the budget. Give me a uh, irrigation, irrigation. Can I change this? Take this. Take this. Give me the budget. Apply some legit while I'm working the more legit the more. Oh, not handy, I don't know why I'm, I'm having to reach. Anyway, more legit. More legit. More legit. You know, I'm having to reach. You gotta push my, your hand against my hand. More pledges. Thank you. So we'll leave that. This is soaked with epinephrine. Even wet a bit. And then we go back to the microscope and uh, prepare the graft. So you can see the graft is pretty thin, exactly like we like it. Take this. Give me the knife. Um, just elevating it off. 
add some please so what I found what I find useful is to try to get a, a kink for the uh, for the interior gutter why, why is the swinkling why is the drape swinkling the drape so So, give me. So, try to make a, a bit of a gutter like this. And so, this is what you got. And then fold it another fold just to get it inside the ear. And you'll see how it goes. Okay, take it. Give me the other one, take it. Give me a sponge. So this is the skin that we took out. Give me an Adson and a uh, an Adson and a and house. Yeah. Most important issue here is to know where is the epithelium and where is the other side. You don't want to put it the wrong side in. So we're gonna place this back in the ear canal as a free graft. Give me a scissors. Takes it. House. So this is definitely the skin side. You could see the epithelium. And uh, give me the uh, give me the uh, give me a um, yeah, yeah give it. So I use this. Uh, uh, give it. You put globs of globs of a globs. You put the globs. I need the globs of. Give me a scissors. Scissors. You need, the, and you know what I'm saying. I need the globs of epinef of uh, polysporin. You have globs. What do you want? I need a lot of polysporin. Is there a lot of polysporin on it? The just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fusidine, whatever. Put it yeah. here. Put it here. What? Okay, give me a house. I do this so it doesn't get stuck, basically, to the. Uh, once we, once we, I use this as an introducer. So, give me a knife. And cut the extra. Rosen. So fold the uh, over. And then another fold like, like this. And another, this is a big skin. That and then turn it to the side so I could pick it up. So this is just basically a way of making sure that you introduce it. It's easy to introduce. And with the right side of the... You need a no. Oh, there's a cartilage? Yeah. Um, okay. Let me see it. It's okay. Don't, don't. Leave, leave that alone. Yeah. Give me a sponge. A sponge. Sometimes I take a piece of cartilage in case I'm missing something. Uh... Give me a round knife. Uh, I must probably won't need this. Give me a... Give me a sponge. That thing is still to the side. That thing is still standing to the side yeah, on the yeah, other yeah, end. So, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't think I need it. But, uh, that's... Uh, 
Now it's the polysporin on it and it's becoming very hard to grasp. Give me an Adson. Adson. Give me the round knife. I was just trying to just get separate the pericondium from the in case I need this as a graft. Oh right. Under the knife? Uh that's well, fine. Whatever. So give me uh I need gel foam. Yeah. You may. Uh, yeah, I need a smaller section than the smaller section. So I'm taking out the uh, human alligator feet. Why can't I open up this alligator? Gel foam, ready? Yeah. So I always pack the middle ear with gel foam. Some people don't do that and don't see the value of that, but I do it. A bit of bleeding, but I think would be fine. Right out. Yeah, give me gel foam, please. Mm -hmm. Bigger pieces, give me bigger pieces. Don't put too much on it, bigger pieces. I don't know, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, it's not, it's not crushed, but anyway, give it to me fast. That's the only thing that I want now. Especially like to uh, give me one second. I especially like to pack the upper, upper, upper uh, interior quadrant, because that's where things fall off usually. Interior to the handle of the malleus. Don't make it any bigger than this. No, smaller, I would say, even smaller. Smaller? Yeah. No, see, I think I need smaller, but anyway, okay. get a chance to tie this. Oh. And this is probably, I uh, won't say. Mm. I think I'm fine. Give me a tiny, tiny one, a yeah. really tiny one. Tiny, eh? Okay. I mean, I'm tinier than this if you have one. But anyway, let me see. And give me now the, the uh, graph first. Alright, the graph. And alligator go add, add some add some fast. No rosin. Rosin. So this is the way I like to bring it in. You can see the let's try to wet it wet it a bit. 
unfolded quite a bit. This is for the cutter. Sometimes when it's too dry, it's, so I wet it in the ear canal a bit before it goes in. Just get you some of the blood to wet the uh, and grab it and just put it that right all the way in the gutter. Again, if it's too dry, it ends up sticking, so don't. to wet a bit, then it handles much better than that, and it's wet. Don't find the value of tucking it underneath the handle of the malleus. Uh, I never had any issues with lateralization. I think, I think if you, uh, Give me the other one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm introducing the skin back. So unfolding it a bit as it goes in, unfolding the, the skin, unfolding it. Unfolding it. That's why I was putting a gloves of, uh, of ointment. So what I usually like is to take out that color that graft if I can be the gel foam. Sometimes I can't, but sometimes most of the time I can. I want to clear out the. Uh, that's a lot of patience. Give me that some. Oh, well, in this one's yeah, let's just, just be careful when you take it out that it's not stuck. Frozen. You have the surgery flow. Laying it over the uh, the graph. Yeah. 
Okay, you go into the interior. And I'm using surgery floor. Brain. I think about surgery floor is that it flows into every little piece and make sure it stabilizes everything. Stop light. Uh, I use this to seal off the ear canal, make sure that the surgery flow does not go out. At the same time, I use it to apply pressure on the uh, on the trigger, so blood doesn't collect in the pocket that you had created. One more. Okay. Moonlight. 